Welcome to iRule. We're excited you're here and can't wait to hear how iRule redefines the way you control and more importantly, simplify everyday life. This cloud-based universal remote can do some pretty amazing things for your home or business. Before you get into setting up your remote or going through the tutorials, there's a few terms and concepts that understanding now will help you out down the road. In a nutshell, iRule is made up of three main components. You start in the iRule Builder. This is online and it's where you enter codes and design your remote control. A gateway is how your device talks to the iRule app. We can control several IP controllable devices via network or HTTP protocols directly, or iRule can control infrared, serial, also known as RS-232, or contact closure devices via global cache gateways. Gateway advice and information can be found on our website support page. Lastly is the iRule app. You download it to your handset, sign in with your account information, and the remote you design and builder will show up and work right here. Throughout the iRule tutorials, you'll hear us mention some terms that you may not be familiar with. This video should clear up any confusion and explain the meaning behind these terms. A button is a page element that has two parts. It'll have a graphic or image to show you what it does, and the codes to make the button actually work. This can execute one code, or it can execute multiple codes, also known as a macro. A link is an interactive page element that, like a button, can perform several commands at once. The difference is that a link can take you to another defined page or panel. For example, if you tap the DirecTV link, it'll turn on your TV, the DirecTV receiver, the AV receiver, and automatically set your receiver to the correct input for cable. Then it'll take you to the DVR1 page in the Watch TV panel. A handset refers to any smart device that will be running the iRule app. In Builder, a handset is referred to as a unique graphic interface or resolution that corresponds with a smart device. For instance, an iPhone handset is a unique graphic interface when compared to an iPad or Android device. An example, if each member of the Smith family was using the same graphic layout for their iPhones, they would only be using one Builder handset. However, if they each wanted their own graphic layout, then they would each require their own iPhone handset in Builder to sync with their individual phones. A page is just a layout of several related elements, buttons, links, and drawers, and their specific control codes. Pages are found in a handset's panels, and our favorite channels page is just one example. A panel is a container for all of the elements of an activity such as entrances, gestures, motions, and the portrait or landscape pages with which the user interacts. For example, the Watch TV panel has all of these elements to control your cable or satellite device. A device is anything that you want to control. A TV, your cable box, lights, blinds, heating and cooling, you name it. All of these are called devices. To control these on your remote, we input their device codes onto the iRule Builder and then apply these codes to buttons or links for control of the devices. Drawers complete two functions on a remote. The first is that they give you a way to quickly implement repeated elements throughout the remote such as volume up, volume down, and activity selection. The second purpose to the drawers is to expand the functionality of the remote by giving you more space on smaller devices such as a smartphone. There are two ways that a drawer can be implemented. It can be pinned, which means that it's always open, and we'll use that in the iPad and other tablet templates. The other way a drawer can be used is a dynamic fashion, meaning the drawer will slide open or close based on how you interact with the drawer handle. For a right drawer, slide it to the left to open it and reveal the volume up and volume down and the mute option, then slide it to the right to close it. As with the rest of the remote, drawers are completely customizable so you can use them in any manner to make your remote control complete. An entrance is an automatic command that happens as soon as you enter the page. For example, when you click cable on the main window, your cable box and TV automatically turn on. Device feedback is displayed information about certain devices you're controlling, using either RS-232 or IP. Some devices with feedback could be a receiver, Blu-ray player, or a DirecTV receiver. For example, in the bottom left-hand corner here, you can see which channel the DirecTV receiver is on. Motion is a tool that executes commands where you physically move your handset with the flick of your wrist. Right now, you can motion up, down, left, and right to execute commands such as channel up or down or whatever codes you specify in the builder. A gesture is a pretty cool tool. It allows you to execute commands without looking at the remote itself. Gestures can be added to pages and you can associate any codes that you'd like. Common codes would be channel up, channel down, or up, down, left, right, and enter for navigation purposes. You'll need to use the gestures on a page that has limited buttons, or we recommend using the gesture pad that is available in the images library. 
The reason being that because the buttons and links on a page take precedence over the gestures, they won't always work if there's a lot of buttons on the page. Once you finish building your remote, you can save it in Builder, which saves it to the cloud. And once you open the app, you click Sync, which will pull the project from the cloud and into your phone or tablet, allowing you to use your new universal remote control. If you have any questions or need a little extra help, check out the support page on our website, iruleathome.com.